Hi everybody! Today we're going to be trying a new kit that I have that is this has um, this tea expert plaster powder which is actually the same thing as echo resin and I am going to just give you a preview. I made this little bowl. See how I did that? I made this awesome phone holder. So stick around, see the trials, the tribulations, and I'm going to jump right in to the video here in a flash. Thanks for showing up. Hey, I hope you stick till the end, and if you like what I'm doing, please give me a thumbs up and um, help me help me grow my channel because uh, appreciate it. Anyway, um, stick around. Oh, uh, one more thing. Uh, I got the, the kit that I'm going to show you with the Echo Resin with everything that came in it uh, from Amazon for 40% off coupon. So it was $17.99. So it's a good time to try it. This is um, May 24th, 2023. So I don't know when you may see this. But anyway, it was a really good deal. And I am totally paying for all this stuff out of my own pocket. I don't have any sponsors. I don't have anything like that. Just my opinions. Okay. Hello. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to show you what came in this kit, and then we're going to mix up some resin. So this is the tea expert. This one is called the Plaster Craft Kit. Um, but it was 40% off, so it was $17.99. And then the next day, I went in to look, after I received this, um, went in to look at the ingredients and all that stuff. They changed the name like within one day so that it doesn't say plaster craft kit because this is Echo Resin, 30 minute demold time, water based, it's um, non toxic. Oh, got a candle going here. Came with, uh, you know, most, most everybody has seen these molds. I'm not going to play with it right now. And it came with a. I don't know, whatever a six-sided rectangle is and a circle coaster. And then it came with two cups, two, ooh, two paintbrushes. And this one is fine. Oh, I love that. I love that. I love little skinny paintbrushes. A measuring cup, some sandpaper, uh, water waterproof sandpaper. And I know that there's like a couple different grits in there. Came with the colorings, red, yellow, blue, black, and black. <laughs> I don't know. Two sticks. Two uh, cute little sticks. And the powder. So basically what I'm saying is this kit was like almost exactly the same as the tea experts almost exactly but it was on sale so I got this one and this is saying that we're going to measure the powder and the water by weight a 10 to 3 ratio blah free from love sister 60 to 90 seconds if you want color if you want to color your plaster you can add pigment while mixing pour the mixture into a mold tap the edges wait 20 to 30 minutes for fuel fuel meow, meow, full curing I might get to get glasses uh, working time and curing time are affected by proportion of water to, water added. 100 grams of plaster added to 30 plus or minus 2 grams of water. The working time is 8 minutes and the curing time is 20 minutes. When too much water is added, the curing rate is slower and the working time and curing time are longer. When too little water is added, the curing rate is faster, the working time is So I'm going to add a smidgen more water just so I can have a little bit longer. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Alrighty, so wish us luck. <laughs> I'm gonna pause it and think for a second. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna try um, just to put some. I'm gonna make this cell phone holder right here. I'm gonna try this one, and I am going to try putting some. Oh, still got brown on it. <laughs> now I have brown on me. 
So I'm going to try to put the some of the black diamond powders on here. Um, I think it was a uh, tea and resin. She did some echo resin, and she used uh, highly pigmented powders, and they worked. So I'm going to just try. I'm not going to go crazy here. I'm just going to put some on for just a. Uh, you know, I think I'll just go random. You know, just some color, just a little color everywhere. I picked out some highly pigmented ones, and hopefully, hopefully, um, it's going to stick to the echo resin. Well, I don't know. What do you think? You, this is something I have no experience in. Sometimes that's good, though, because sometimes if you don't know what you're doing, you make some really great mistakes. And people are like, how'd you do that? And I'm like, oh, I don't remember. <laughs> Let me try some yellow in here. Oh, that's a lot of yellow. Anyway, I'm pretty excited about this. I think... Uh, um, this will, if this comes out anything like my first resin project, it'll be good for a laugh. <laughs> really good for a laugh. And not much else. <laughs> not much. Not much else at all. I'm going to just stick with the yellow here. I'm just going to do the three colors. Wait. One, two. Yeah. Yeah, why not? I'm just going to stick with three. See what happens. Oh, I know what I'll do. <gasps> I know, I know, I know. I want to use some of this Bora Bora, so I'll put it on the... Oh, my goodness. The... Um, stand thing for the phone. This down with some alcohol because I got powder all over me. I got powder everywhere. Okay. <laughs> Lovely. Am I even on? Okay, yeah, I am in here. You can see me. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Chocolate chips in a factory. Open up. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back. Stirring up my um, stuff. I put 30 grams of water in this cup you know, on the scale, and then I added 100 grams of the powder to it because it says add 100 grams of the powder to 30 grams of water. It's so far stirring up really smooth. I found out that this other color, there's not two blacks, one of them is green. That's blue. Where's the black one? Ah, this just isn't taking color like perfectly. So I'm going to squirt some more black in there. And now it has black and green. And it's just a dark, dark gray. All right. So um, I've mixed it up. I'm going to see if there's enough for this. I hope so. And okay, here we go. It's nice and thin, so I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. It's nice and thin, so um, I don't think it's going to have any trouble going into the crevices. I'm just going to pour slow, though, kind of, kind of help it, kind of. There's a lot of crevices, blah, 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 yeah. crevices in this mold. All right, so I don't think I need to go all, all the way to the top. Let me try this. Put some in this one. Can you see? 
and I'm just putting a, oh yep oh we're we're in good shape here we got plenty I think that's plenty and <laughs> don't laugh but where'd my little bird go I really 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 want to pour a little tiny bird I just that's like I really 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 want to I want to see how she comes out and echo resin uh oh she might come out a dollar short oh there we go there we go okay now let's get the rest in here there's no smell at all to this and this is actually all of these kits the echo friendly resin are listed as kits for kids so this is kind of not kind of this is in line with the last two videos that i did that were about uh recycling Hi everybody, we're back, and I'm really scared to try to um, <laughs> open these because I know that resin is is not. Oh, I'm scared because <laughs> resin takes a while to set fully, and uh, oh my goodness, I'm afraid I'm going to break it. Oh well, if I break it, I break it. That looks like a T-shirt, doesn't it? Okay, let's see if the Oh, I don't even want to look at it. I doubt it. But you know what? If the color is not on this, that's okay. I'll decorate it or I'll paint it. I don't even want to look. I still see color in here. Oh, I bet it did not. All right. All right. All right. I'll just look now. Oh, it's kind of on there. Okay. <laughs> Got some little air holes there. Is it going to come off? I don't know. I'm not going to play with it yet. All right. I'm going to see if I can get my birdie out of the mold. I'll put that like that so you can see that we do have some color on that, obviously. The bird is just going to be plain. But I am going to put eyeballs on it. Got to find them though. Don't break, little birdie. Don't break. Don't break. <gasps> Here we come. I just love this little birdie mold. It's just so precious. Whoa, what happened to your eyeball? Oh, something was in there that stuck. Look at that. I bet you that's a piece of my recycling. <laughs> from the videos I've been doing. Ah! <laughs> well, that's kind of bizarre, isn't it? Wow. Kind of cool. Because it looks like at least it has one eye. Yeah, that's got to be a piece of the resin. <laughs> but it's cute. <laughs> Very simple. Very simple and cute. Oh, look at all this stuff. Alrighty. Oh my goodness. I don't know how to put a phone thing together. Alright, let me do it like this. I think it's going to have color. Oh, okay, I cheated. I just looked. Let's go color. Ah, yes. Wow. Okay, so then I probably have to put some kind of coating on this. I'll have to figure it out. Wow. Okay. Very cool. Okay. I moved all my lights around. Uh, the color is dark. The yellow looks green now in person. Yeah, I probably have to put some kind of coat on this. I don't know how a phone thingy bob works. Does it just stick it in from the back? Oh, like that, right? And then you put your phone on there. Is that right? Or is it like that? Or I guess you have a lot of options. Well, that's cool. I need this because I'd like to have my phone. Uh, or I can see it, I'm not just laying here taking up space. Okay, well, you know what? This feels really... Can 
Okay, I guess you could scrape it a little bit. I don't know. My first experience, but you know what? Happy the colors are on there. Okay. So I'm going to try some more experiments. Uh, okay, I have 60 grams of water and 200 grams of the echo resin in here. And I'm just stirring it up right now. And I want this to be a, a pink, like a light pink. So I'm going to be careful with my color. Put in one drop. See what happens. Oh, that's pretty. I think that's exactly what I want. Oh, but I wasn't going to color the whole thing. Well, chocolate chips looks like I did. <laughs> oh, well. Well, I'm going to have a big pink bowl. Okay. So I've been stirring it. Uh, stirring, stirring, stirring. I don't think I have any bumps in here at all. Lumps, bumps. So here we go. All right. I'm going to go slow. Okay, but I, why do I have a, maybe I need to stir it a little bit more. Do I see the color separating? Okay, let's try this now. I still see it floating on top. Oh, that's okay, I guess. You know, I'm going to learn more and more about this. I'm actually really enjoying this. The, the phone holder is just adorable. Oh, I might have to mix up more for this. Ooh, a little piggy. Now, before I use this little bit of extra resin that's left, I want to uh, maybe give it some squishies down here. Try to see if there's any air bubbles hiding in these nooks and crannies here. Whoops, what are you doing? <gasps> stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Why is it stuck? Oh, don't, don't, don't. It's a cute color. Okay, well, that took the 200 grams plus the 60 of water. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay, I'm just going to go right to there. I don't know what the shrinkage is on, the, on these. This product. All right. I don't see bubbles coming up, so that's why I'm like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Can't say I didn't beat it. Um, I was going to make a puffy heart. I don't have enough for that. I don't, oh, I know what I have enough for. Probably put a little bit more in there just in case it shrinks. And then uh, I saw Claire doing a little bit of foil on on something she was trying on a product, not Jesmonite, but in a product she was trying, said some of it worked and some of it didn't. So I really wanted to put this in here. You know what? I'm going to put it in my mushroom. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to put it in my mushroom because this I coated with blue powder. Uh, yeah, that's only going to be enough for the cap. That's okay. That's fine. And then maybe there's enough for a little bit of moon. Oh, yeah. And a little bit of star.
Oops, I'm pouring it as I'm looking for my Shimana Mama. Hama, 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 hama. It's very liquid. Wow. All right. Well, uh, you know, what's interesting about this is now, now that I've poured um, the pink in this blue top thing, I could actually put some resin in the rest and have a two-part thingy bob. The only thing is, I don't like that this is higher than half the bob, bob, bob. I can't talk. <laughs> I don't like that it, it's, if, I, if I'm going to put resin in there, or even if I'm just going to put another color of jasmineite. There we go. I don't want it. Um, oh, I'll just put it in this little feather mold. I just want it to be the, the, the cap of the mushroom. Well, that was easy. Put some more in you. Got a little blue mixed in with it. So we have blue moon. All right. Okay. I'll be back when this is ready. Bye. Okay, I'm back. Um, right after I closed the camera down, I realized that all the air bubbles had come up and left this one uh, kind of low. So I emptied out my little mushroom. So there's nothing in here but fairy dust. So let's see what we've got here. It's been about 40 minutes. You had a cute little feather. Not bad. It's got some little overflow there. I'm still nervous about um, manhandle manhandling it. <laughs> overhandling it while it's still not 100% cured. Oh boy, more um, leftover stuff. I guess I'm going to have to see if anybody has uh, an idea for using this stuff. All right, well, let's see what our little star did. And let's see if that gold foil stuck. Oh, it did. Hmm, that's on there. That's pretty cool. See the little gold foil? It's stuck to both sides. I just put a little bit in there because I wasn't sure if it was going to work. Uh, okay. Oh, I just realized my nails are so gross. And the little moon. Same thing. These are actually kind of cute. I kind of like this. Uh, what does it remind me of? An antacid tablet? <laughs> kind of has the same feel, same look. A little shrinkage there, but yeah, you can see it. Just a little moon. It goes with the star. Okay. And now for this one, I already see bubbles. I see a bubble right there. I see a bubble right there. Right there. <laughs> right there. Uh, you know, you don't have a lot of time. So it's not like resin, you know, where you come back in a half hour and you can get the bubbles out. And this you come back in a half hour and bubbles are forever. All right, let's see if I can get this out without breaking out. Oh. Hmm. All righty. Wish me luck here. Uh, oh dear. Please don't break because this is so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How cute. Oh. Wow. I love this. Let me zoom down.
This is so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, this is just adorable. Oh, I love pink and I love the little design on it. It's very sturdy. It's very heavy. My goodness. Oh my goodness. It has such a soft, smooth feel. Oh my goodness. Wow. So I'm going to stop there for tonight, I think. I don't know. <laughs> wow. This is so precious. I like how the little color kind of went into the crevices. So it gives this almost like a dimension. You can see the little dark pink. I don't know if you can because it's hard to see, but this is still warm. Oh, man, that's so cute. Okay, well, um, thanks for sticking with me. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you leave me a comment, I check every day to see if anybody's commenting and I'm answering right away. So, yeah, um, this has been fun. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.